Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Arc. Today we are dropping some widgeons. That's right. I thought I'd do some experimentation and just kind of play around and see what happens as we drop various numbers of pigeons in real time, slowed down, and then also slowed down in the game, but then sped up in post editing. Here we are already up to eight widgeons in real time on my computer. Actually, doesn't do bad. 16 cars we can see. We're starting to get some lag. We're seeing some banding. Things are starting to look a little shaky in the game. <laughs> so, I figured if we took 16 cars, now in the game, they are at four times slow motion. So what you're seeing is slowing the game down and you can see it makes a difference. And part of the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because if you are playing Beam NG and you're seeing some stuttering and, and some lagging and that kind of stuff, one of the things you can do is actually use the slow motion camera and play the game. Now, it does take some getting used to, uh, but you can use that slow motion camera and sometimes that actually helps with the physics. So here is the same shot, but now I sped it up in my video editor so that when it plays back, it looks like it's pretty much real time. It's not exact. I'm not quite perfect at it, but it's close enough. Right now, 32 cars in the game, four times slow motion recorded in real time and as you can see things are not happy the game itself kept freezing and I have to use the J key to resume the physics because essentially what the game is trying to do it's like listen things are breaking and I'm not happy about it so in order to protect the environment of, of the game I'm gonna pause physics now sometimes when you unpause physics uh, the game will continue like it did here. Other times it actually resets whatever was going wrong in the game. But you can see all kinds of banding, all kinds of damage, lots of smoke. I can't even find a good angle where uh, we can see uh, a bunch of the vehicles because it's just a mess. So here's the same thing, but I sped it up in the editor. So as you can see, it looks a little cleaner, although I will admit that the uh, the breaks where the game paused and I edited out the pauses is a little herky-jerky. I could have done a better job, but it still gets the point of crossed. Now, here's an interesting thing that starts to happen. The more you have multiple cars in the game. Again, I've got 32 cars. This is now at 16x slow motion in Beam NG Drive. But notice the vehicles, especially the ones at the bottom. Even though I've reset the vehicles using Shift R, you'll notice that a lot of them are still missing textures, pieces, parts, assets, and that is just the game itself not being able to recover from these multiple iterations of uh, vehicles being destroyed. Uh, that's basically what it amounts to. So uh, one of the other things you want to watch out for is anytime you're playing around with these kind of physics breaking death defying feats uh, is uh, you want to watch what does the vehicle look like? What do the vehicles look like in the game? Because you may have to get out of the game come back in, reset things, and start over if it's starting to do this kind of stuff. Again, exact same scene, but this time I sped it up 800 times faster in my video editor. If I did not have the uh, UI displayed, uh, it would actually look even better. Uh, ha <coughs> having the UI on the screen actually, um, to me anyway, uh, it, it takes away from the realism just because... Um, the viewer gets a better idea as to what's happening and you can tell that it's been sped up or slowed down or what have you. This I just thought was a cool angle. Uh, I had reset all of the cars back to their actual home positions and it created this weird stagger effect and I just thought, man, that is such a, a cool 
view and such a cool thing for the game to do. So I decided to record a couple of different angles. And here, my computer started going insane. Um, <laughs> as you can see, the, the game itself is starting to lag. Not only was the game starting to lag, but you can see, like, I'm trying to free cam, and it is completely laggy and jerky. Um, the fans on my computer were starting to scream at me. I'm sitting here. I'm trying to record. And then this happened. Yeah, the computer crashed. So I decided uh, at that point that uh, my computer had been through quite enough. And so what I'm going to leave you with now are some clips featuring uh, the D-Series vehicle. Plus, at the very end of this video is a time lapse or a series of time lapse of me duplicating the widgeons so that you can kind of get a feel for how I do it uh, in the game. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, and Connie C for supporting the channel. I appreciate that so, so much. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Hey, I'm David in Art. We'll see you next time in Beam NG Drive. Have a great day.